This is Cuthbert Street. It's an alleyway in Center City, Philadelphia, and it's not that pretty. It's filled with garbage. It's pretty hot today, and it really stinks. So there's not a whole lot of reason for people to come down through here, except, look up. It's called Contra Fuerte, and it's made by an artist named Miguel Horn. And this is Miguel. Thanks for being here, Miguel. Thanks for having me. So first of all, what is it? What did you make here? It's a sculpture made out of uh, aluminum plates that is on either side of this vehicle bridge. It's two groups of figures that are kind of intertwined and working together to support this bridge or keep it from falling down or raise it up. What does it mean? Why, why did you want to do this? I think it's kind of a story about facing adversity and overcoming that and the kind of path through that those challenges. So I really want you to show me how it's made because it's a super complicated construction. And so let's let's head up there. We can go up there and see. There are over 5,000 individual pieces that make up the sculpture. They're all water jet cut aluminum plates, half inch. It's bolted and welded together throughout. Most of that's all internal, so you don't get to see you know, the engineering of it, which is a shame. I think it's actually one of the more beautiful parts of the piece. There's a certain stripping down to these figures. You're trying to boil them down, in a sense, to something essential. I think what's important here is that you're looking at what the individual is doing in the context of this you know, collective action. It's less important to distinguish that individual person, not to give them you know, an assigned identity, uh, to allow it, the viewer to kind of reflect that onto them, kind of give them a, more of a blank canvas. It's not like it's a man or woman, it's just a figure, kind yeah. of. It's really, yeah, it's astonishing. It's very futuristic almost feeling, if that makes sense. And even the way that they all look together is just, it's beautiful. They look like they're collectively dancing to build something together. Kind of looks like they're fighting each other for some sort of thing that doesn't really exist. I don't know, it feels very cyber and hologram-ish to me. You're hearing from people around the world about this piece. I wonder what they think it is. How do they interpret your work? A lot of people referring to trying to get a piece of furniture up the stairs. A lot of people I think that are more kind of serious side, like, you know, see it as a, a embodiment of maybe an internal struggle. A couple posts that I've seen really resonated with me was people that were like, you know, found it very uplifting, kind of found it as a, a bright spot in a dark alley. That for me, I think, was kind of the most, most rewarding. Hi, I'm Shirley Mann. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.